Hey guys, welcome to the Sue and Spanky podcast. It's Sue and Spanky back again. And this week we're going to talk about how we almost canceled this podcast forever because I am a crazy psycho freak bitch. Basically, but sorry for the bad word. We've totally moved on from all of that. We have. We're back. We, we were just taking a short intermission. We've had a crazy busy month. We're going to fill y'all in on everything that's been going on. But um, it's, it's nice to be back and nice to be testing some drinks out. We're doing a little something extra fancy today, actually. We're going to be trying a new coffee maker. Um, we are falling into the fiery depths of TikTok shop. And they have sent us this coffee maker for free to test. So, we're going to give you the real review. The real and the raw. The no BS. No BS review from us. Um, and we are the drink expert triers, so... Who better to try it than us? You can do iced and hot coffee on this. So that's really cool. Um, I guess I'll go first with it. Okay. But I'm just going to make it. So it's called the Fammy, Fammy Worth's Coffee Maker. It's like some other famous brands of coffee machines similar to them, but it is its own beast. It has certain aspects to it that are one of a kind. For example, it can make hot, hot or iced coffee, and it's till, it, ha, it comes with a basket. It is included with a little basket that you can use your own coffee grounds in, or you can use K-cups, so that's cool, because a lot of them, you have to buy that extra. And Another thing I like about it is that you have to fill it up with water every time, which can be a burden to some if it's in your house and you're like, I need it filled up ready to go in the morning for multiple cups of coffee because me and my husband both are going to use it and we're going to want it to hold, have a vessel. But those are used often. You know the water isn't going to go bad, so that's what you want that for. But True. this would go great in an office area where you're like, I'm not even there every day or I don't even drink a cup of coffee in my office every day from this machine and I don't want... Um, a Keurig with a water vessel in there because it might get funky and I might forget and I might get sick. So I do like this one because you can, it would be great for an office area where you have to fill it up and like drink a serving of coffee. So, so far I like it. I, um, we're going to try it though. We're going to try the actual coffee. So I've got a K cup and I've already filled my mug with ice, milk, and vanilla syrup. And I filled it up with six ounces of water. It says six ounces are best for. I don't know why he just closed that when I opened it. He's just trying to make my life harder every day. He lives and breathes to make my life harder. I wanted to feel the mechanism. I'm just joking. But you're, you're not joking. But okay. Anyway, um, it said to use six ounces of water for the K-cup. So that's what I put in. <coughs> It is secured in the vessel. Now, Spanky, will you on the side of it hit the iced button? It's, I believe I plugged it in. Yes. It is plugged in. It just needs to be, we need to hit the ice. What is it doing? Blinking. Okay. It's warming up. Ooh, I hear something. I hear it purring. I hear <laughs> that kitty purring. <laughs> While we're waiting on it to do our, do its first cup of coffee for us um i thought i would just lead into the first topic of discussion which is is sue hurting my voice is the voice hurting my natural voice true fans know that that is not my actual voice it's Although not some people think so but i don't really think it's hurting my voice can you personally tell a difference in the tone in the tone of my voice at all what, before and after having done it? Yeah. No. I've always done it, but I've never done it to this magnitude, of course. Right. And I was a little, I'm not going to lie, I was a little worried about it at first. And I did talk to a lot of professionals, like speech patho pathologists, doctors, etc. And they said, no. As long as it doesn't cause me physical pain, it shouldn't. And I will tell you, if I don't stay hydrated, it does cause me physical pain. That's why I'm drinking the whole time. Mm -hmm. Something about lubricating the cords. That makes it not hurt my voice. 
Um, mm-hmm. And I get people concerned in my comments all the time. Oh my gosh, she's killing her voice. Is your voice hurt? How have you been doing it this long and your voice isn't damaged? I literally don't know. But people sound like that naturally one day. So maybe I will. But they usually smoke and live hard lives. Yeah. Or we're working coal mines. Winston, no, no, not for you. You're gonna get burnt, baby. You don't come into my lab. He's gonna get. He's gonna trip on the cord. No, he's fine. He's <sighs> in my lab. No, he's fine. But um, yeah, the Sue Dylan thing does not hurt. I think people sometimes want it to hurt. It used to really make me mad when people would say, "You're gonna kill your voice, and you're just doing this for views." But now I seem to read them in the tone of like, "We're concerned about your health. Are you destroying your beautiful angelic voice?" People are like. Oh my God, your voice is so pretty. Oh my God, you sound like an angel. And I'm like, I think I just sound normal. But I think when you hear Sue all the time out of my mouth. Oh my God, it's full. Got really close <laughs> to oh God. watching that happen. That's why you weren't saying anything. Yeah, sorry. Didn't mean to be distracted. But I feel like anything sounds beautiful compared to <laughs> listening to Sue for like real forever. One, real ones also remember the days before the voice reveal before a hundred thousand yes. followers. I forgot about that. Forgot about those days. Yeah. How far you've come. Yes. Before Talk about that. How long did that even last? Till a hundred thousand followers. But how many months? Oh, that I don't know. A couple. Yeah, it had to be at least a couple. Um, we said, you know, voice reveal at a hundred K and then everyone was always like, We're leaving after a hundred K. We don't really care about you. We just want to hear your real voice. Okay, that was not everyone. That's an exaggeration. I know. People said that though. I don't even remember anyone saying it, but go ahead. I remember. I saw that comment frequently pop up, but there was a lot of people that loved it, and they have stuck with it. So There you go. Good stuff. I remember... I remember that voice reveal video, though. It didn't even pop off like I thought it would, and like people to this day still are like, I never knew you had a real voice. Yeah, to this day, people have chosen to remain ignorant of the truth. Well, they just don't see it. The... The algorithm doesn't bring it. Damn it. Oh, that one already has grounds in it? Yeah, so this one, I put actual grounds of coffee in it for Spanky, and he's just drinking a hot cup of black coffee. Really thought of everything. She just likes to make my life more difficult. Can you tell me... Can you tell me when it's like at six ounces? Because I can't. Yeah. I can't see. I see the max thing out there. It's not to the max though. It's just the very bottom. When it starts peeking over the very bottom, it's it's in there. Okay, stop. <laughs> that was perfect. You're right on the money. Out. Why? What was I supposed to say? Okay, hit the hot button. There's no hot. It just says regular. Okay. Must be hot then. Well, there's an ice, so I assume that the regular is hot. It sounds like the ocean. It's not as loud as a Keurig. I'll give it that. Keurigs tend to have that Keurig sound. Don't say the word Keurig. I'm just kidding. Oh, really? No, I'm just. I'm literally joking. Oh. It's fine. Why would she joke about that, everyone? Winston, come back. What are you doing? It's like a light color, but I guess co- iced coffee. Did you just use your finger as the stirrer? I did. I didn't bring a spoon. I thought of it. I thought I thought of everything, but I didn't. But let's try it. It does have milk in it, so. Bunga, no. Winston. Honestly, it's good. Winston. Tastes like a Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Honestly? Wood. What? That's what people say on the videos all the time. Mm. It's good. It's all right. Frankie. Frankie, do you want a cup? No, you're too small. I'm not a big iced guy, so I will try it. I am, you know, genuinely impressed because usually when you do an iced coffee at oh, home, good. it doesn't taste good. But this no. one, decent. Decent iced coffee from home. I guess it brews it differently when you hit the cold button. Yeah, I wonder what the, what, what the science behind that is. I really don't know. Maybe they push it through with cold water. They don't even bother heating the water. Maybe it also has to do with the sound. I don't think it would brew. 
Oh, you're right, though. Would it brew? But maybe. All two of my brain cells are focused on watching this and giving it an honest critique. A nice cola color. Cola color? Okay. That's what I thought. Thank you for giving me the Bucky's mug, side note. I knew you would want that one, so I got it for you. I like it. And it said to use six ounces? It said to use six ounces only if you're doing a K cup because okay. the flavor wouldn't be as great if you didn't. Okay. So if they you used more water, it would be watered down coffee. They're going for a strong flavor. But this one you probably could use more because it was the basket that you put your own grounds in. I will say, this is a small cup and it's not even half full. So if you get the coffee maker, you might want to play with it for a bit and determine your size and strength. Yeah. The K cup definitely, like for the iced, definitely six ounces plus like all the liquid you're going to need for your like creamery and stuff. Because I don't, I personally don't drink iced coffee with no flavor. That's gross. People do that? Yeah. Iced coffee with no milk, no nothing. Just yep. coffee and ice. Yep. That's ridiculous. I know. That can't be real. It is. I've seen people do there it. They people. get it at Starbucks all the time. Oh. I hate that. I hate everything about that. What does it smell like? It smells good. It smells like... um. Coffee. Good. Mm. One that I appreciate. It's not too hot to drink. You can grab it and start sipping right off the bat. That is nice. Very nice because sometimes, man, you get that coffee. And it's just steaming hot. It's just worthless. And then you burn your tongue and too hot to use. See, this is why I think it's good for an office because usually if you make a cup of coffee, you're like, I want to mm -hmm. drink it now in the office. And you're mm -hmm. not like on the go, like, okay, it's okay if it stays hot on the drive. Yeah, no, yeah, you're trying to pound it down. Um, you could definitely put more water in this. This is really strong. Yeah, this, this was really the one flavor. with the basket of grounds, though. So with the basket of grounds, maybe, if because I filled it up completely. I guess you could probably put a max, like a big giant cup of coffee. And I think it goes up to like, oof. Does it go to 16 ounces? It goes considerably higher than whatever we put in it. Can you see? Max is 14 ounces. So that's bigger than these cups we have, I believe. I think this one is 14 ounces, but that one is definitely smaller than 14. But overall, I think this is a good coffee maker. I think it's only like $25 on TikTok Marketplace, which is insane how is they all? have deals like that. Um, Dang, that, so this is $25? Yeah, and, and apparently they're going to be doing some kind of deal for the followers. Um, so watch out for our video review on TikTok. And if you're interested in getting this for yourself... You might be able to get it for even less than $25. Like, that is truly insane. This would be a great thing to have in a college dorm. Oh, yes. Balling on a budget. Yes. Cheap, small, and it makes a hot, strong cup of coffee. Yep, that's all you need. Sometimes that's what you need. Or if you're a long-distance trucker and you have access to a regular outlet <laughs> or an outlet adapter, this would be good for that, too, as long as you were stationary. Yeah. Or camping. Sometimes campers have... Or camping. Plugins? I don't know. Anyway, um, anyway, 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 this segues us into yeah, our next yeah. topic of dom conversation, which will be holiday plans as a married couple Ooh. and how we have navigated that with families that live distantly, you know, a, g a general long distance, not necessarily as much as some. Some people like travel all across the world. We don't. We just travel... From Middle Tennessee to East Tennessee for my family. But your family, you know, we have to coordinate plans with them. But it really hasn't been hard because I feel like you have a small family and I have a large family. And Thanksgiving, your family really doesn't make a big deal about Thanksgiving. Mine no, does. Absolutely not. Mine definitely does. Um, I used to have so many different Thanksgiving dinners to go to as a kid with, like, different sets of family because my parents are divorced. So... There are people at your Thanksgiving who I've seen there every year. I still don't know who they are. There's like definitely like at least 30 people that come to my grandma's Thanksgiving and they're all family, mm -hmm. but they're all just 
related in different ways. My grandma and grandpa both came from large families, but it seems to be the majority of people that come to Thanksgiving are my grandma's yes. side of the family. That's grandma's day. And she cooks so good. We all It's like a potluck mm-hmm. Thanksgiving dinner. Like Everybody brings something. Grandma cooks the, the meat. And she cooks some sides, and she cooks some desserts. But and she opens her home. Yeah, and most people just bring like one thing or two things. I love it. Shout it's my out. favorite thing ever. I know some people don't like Thanksgiving. I genuinely have a good time at Thanksgiving every year. Shout out Aunt Bridget jalapeno cornbread, best dish a few years in a row. Had to say it. I need to get that recipe so I can make it for your family's Christmas this year because this year we're doing Christmas at your mom's with your uncle Ralph, Aunt Margaret, and Grandma Reen. Grandma. Do you call her? I just call her Reen. Uh, yeah. She's technically my um, father's. um, She's not his first wife, so she's not biologically related to me. But they were married as long as I was alive, so I always called her Reen. Um, I guess just because. It would have been too confusing to call her grandma. Yeah. She's just Reen. That's her name. So that's what I call her. And my grandma's name is Loreen. So that's just so weird. Mm-hmm. But we pronounce my grandma's Loreen. Yeah. And that drives Sarah. Well, it doesn't drive me crazy. It just crazy. drives me crazy when you call my grandma Loreen because that is not her name. Her right. name is Loreen. But hey, you know, I can't, I can't turn it off. No. But I can try. Well, it's okay. You know, it's just a force of habit, I'm sure, for you because. It's been your whole life. You calling somebody low ring. Look at me coming back for more coffee. You Those should not be running. drinking coffee. He was like, we were filming rather late today. He was like, we're drinking coffee this late. Okay, I didn't say it like that. I I I didn't I didn't say it like that. Yes, he did. He's a grumpy old troll who lives I under also the bridge. Don't live under a bridge. I just got done with my nap. I took I got home from work. God, dude, I sacked out. I Napped. Yeah. Strong. You know, I'm just in a crappy mood today, too. I'm probably I'm probably you? not easy to deal with. Stop. Yeah. We'll talk about my wife now. The only thing that you did that pissed me off, pardon my use of the P word, I literally got in she'd been laying in bed wallering for some time and I was like, Hey, I'm finally Depression done now. with my work. I'm gonna get in bed and she was like, I'm about to get up. Well, and I was, I was like, laying Thanks. in there for three hours. <laughs> what did you want me to do? What's an extra thirty minutes? My hips were sore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you make me laugh. Um, and I had stuff to do. I actually had some prank calls yeah, to do. I get, and... it. I get it. One more thing about um, any anything else for holiday plans? I should say. No, I just really like the way we've navigated it. Yeah. I could see it being causing more fight if we just couldn't choose one over the other. But I will say we have done really good about like making other plans, going to someone else's yes. house. Yes. Um, like on the actual day versus not. And I do like how we spend Christmas at home. Like we, it seems like we've been spending Christmas at home. <laughs> Ever since we got married, and I do love that. Yeah. Just now, us. We don't have any kids, so things are subject to change one day. But so far, I, I like you. I like the way we do it. Yeah. It seems very fair. Speaking of kids, this is a random story that we didn't plan on sharing, but I just have to share it. So, like I said, we're going to be oh, meeting no. with, with Ralph and Margaret, which is oh. Taylor's uncle and aunt. Yeah. And they're, they're pretty old. They're like... In their 80s? No, they're 70s. Um, in their 70s. He's the youngest Not brother. 80s. I don't so. know why I said that. Rain is 80. Yeah, she's in her 80s. Stop. And my, my Paul Paul would, would be in his mid to late 80s. I think he's trying to drink the coffee. Um, he would be in his like mid 80s. Um, but Ralph is his youngest brother, and uh, he's 70 something. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's like late 70s, definitely. Right? I think so. Yeah, that sounds right. Or at mid, least mid. Yeah. At least mid. But they, so they do this like church. With her church, they give away meals to the homeless every year. They feed the hungry, but the, the leftovers, you best believe they're taking them and they're divvying them out to their loved ones. They're so proud yeah. of it, too. They're like, yeah. man, we got these good meals, these good hot meals, and they want to bring them to us every year. And we were out running errands, mm-hmm. but Taylor didn't want to say, we're just running errands. He said, I'm taking Sarah to her doctor's appointment. We were actually on the way for me to get my Brazilian wax because I don't do shaving. Oh. I do Brazilian waxes. I've done that since I was preparing for honeymoon like a year before mm-hmm. our honeymoon just because I wanted no razor burn. I've sh- like, ugh. Well, I've, that lady's like a doctor. I, mm, no. Okay. D- disregard. That's, that's just, no. For so many reasons, no. Uh. Um, But she sees people naked like doctors do. Exactly. But, 
I do Brazilian waxes. What we can get into that another day. But um, he instead of saying like, "Oh, we're just running errands," he was like, "Oh, I'm taking Sarah to the doctor." And like, when would he ever come to the doctor with me unless I'm pregnant? So when? Okay, you were on the phone too. I didn't hear you thinking on your feet. I wasn't on the phone. I was listening to you on speakerphone. <laughs> so, what did you want me to butt in your conversation? You could have been like errands, errands. No, but it was too late. I didn't think you were going to say doctor's appointment like that. I just thought you would say. People accompany the doctor. Like if you got your eyes dilated, you would need a ride. No, I do that every year and I don't ever need a ride. I just wear sunglasses. Okay, continue. Anyway, I don't think that they even thought about that, the eyes dilating thing. Um, They thought that I was at like some kind of OB appointment because when they brought the food, they were like. So in eight or nine months, do we need to mark our calendars or something like that? And I was like, what are you talking about? And I said, they think I'm pregnant because you told them we were going to the doctor. Uh, well, God forbid you say doctor instead of my wife's getting her Brazilian Don't wax. say that. Just say errands. Mm-hmm. Okay, fine. <laughs> it was, it's cute, though. It's funny. But I'm like, they're going to be massively disappointed because I don't know if we're going to have children when... Like, will it be in their lifetime? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Could be a while. Could be a long while. Could be a wait. But they have a long while left. They're, they're, they're really healthy people very, and they're in good shape. Very healthy people. Yeah. That's a little morbid. Anyway. A little bit morbid. Uh, so, like I said, we've been extremely busy. Mm. And that's partially why we haven't been on the pod. Like, traveling for Thanksgiving... Had a lot of traveling to do for school with clinicals. The end of the semester. Yes, that hustle. We both were busy with the end of the semester trying to get the assignments turned in on time. Trying to beg the professor to give me the grade that I need and don't necessarily deserve. No, just trying to write my paper in such a way that the professor takes mercy on me and knows I'm just a dumb hick. Paper and a test and like didactic stuff I had to go on campus to do and like finishing up the. You can't say that. Isn't that inappropriate? Didactic. Oh. Well, it's just, I, I don't know why. Something about that sounds vulgar. I know what you're thinking, the word you're thinking of, and I don't know why you would think I would ever say something like that. It's didactic. It's like hands-on. I don't know what word you're referring to. I just feel like that word in general. <laughs> I know. Vibe to it. I don't. Anyway, um, and we, we had some brand deals, which was really fun and like special to be, with, which I think we did do, we did film during the, I don't know. you doing this man anyway we've been busy and then we had live fest and yeah. i know if you're listening to this podcast you probably heard something about live fest or clappers or some crap like that man that was tough but yeah i won second place in the community favorites performance arts section that started it was like a they call it the warm-up there was nothing warming up about that that was cold turkey going ham sprinting a race straight into the deep fryer that was yeah I, that week i was living on two or three hours of sleep a night that was just terrible and i had clinical and all kinds of other stuff which i'm not saying i am better than them because i won with all these responsibilities it and was all they did was do life fest. that's so not what i'm much. saying it was so much though it was so much for me it was too much but i have made a lot of enemies over this stupid competition too because I think that there's some injustice going on, but who am I to say? Because I really didn't witness it myself. I've just heard people talk. Um, there have been rumors. There have been rumors that people rumors. were like paying for their, like just liquidize. It's a long story, but like liquidizing votes. Is it liquidizing or liquidating? Liquidating. I think it's liquidating. Which I guess is fine. I mean, if it's not in the rules that you can't do it, but it's just kind of, it just seems scummy to me. And like, I don't know. The people that won are ASMR. Like, she's an ASMR artist. She won. And she was apparently supposedly giving diamonds back to herself, which diamonds helps you win. And that's, like, the currency for TikTok that you get from Live Fest gifts, specific Live Fest gifts. But you can get any gifts and get any, like, diamonds for anything. But specifically the Live Fest gifts were giving you votes. And so she had backup accounts that she was, like, sending her gifts to there and then sending them back to her main account, but only in the Live Fest gifts because not everyone knew about it, so people would send crazy stuff. It is amazing to me how many gifts, like ASMR and that 
um, that other thing um, where they're like, thank you for the rose. Thank you for the rose. Uh, NPC or something like that. I don't know about that, that is that insane one. to me how many like people, how many gifts they get. Like they get thousands and thousands of dollars a month in TikTok live gifts and that's their job. And that's truly amazing. And like, I just can't wrap my head around how. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful when I say that. I'm just, I just logically don't understand it because it's, it's ASMR is like a relaxing thing usually. So I'm like, yeah. how are they How does getting their relaxed audience to just be like, oh, I'm going to drop, I'm going to drop $300 on a gift. How does ASMR, which is supposed which to is be this sleep cool aid. for them. Don't get me wrong. I'm sorry for interrupting you anyway. You're good. How does ASMR, which is supposed to be the sleep aid, relaxing form of media, how does that encourage people actively viewing and giving gifts? You know, like there's, it's just strange. Like something had to be missing. Yeah. Maybe I'm just ignorant to the ASMR culture, I guess you would say. Culture. Because I d- had never really got into it or watched any of it until the competition. Also, the person that was in front of me was consistently, because I would go into her live every now and then just to see what the hell was going on. And she'd be like, we have to beat Sarah. We have to beat Sarah Grace. She's catching up or we can't let her catch up. We have to be 500,000 votes ahead and blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, oh, my God. I didn't talk about her during competition in my lives like that. Like, maybe once or twice we talked about it when we were trying to figure out, like, how she was so far ahead right. with, like, my core followers with, like, 200 people in the room. But right. no, this person has like 15,000 people in their room and they're like chanting my name. And I just think that's that's strange. I did reach out to her and we spoke and, you know, I was like, I don't know if people are telling you I'm hating on you. Because at the time I was not. Um, I was like, that's not true. Um, there's this one port, part where she like fell off a competition, but there was some kind of glitch. It took several people off the competition. Yeah. And we were like, she was cheating. They took her off because she's cheating. But then they added them back. So it was some kind of glitch. Which would, didn't make any sense, it made dude. no sense. Really weird. But, I don't know. So, my drunk ass got on TikTok after I did the Live Fest. This is a different competition. The Live Fest host off because that was a whole other thing. It wasn't good. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Not because I lost. I can be a sore loser, but... I don't, there was some, it's just like, it's not reflective of like your performance. It's like reflective of how many gifts you can get. And it's just (coughs) strange to me how many gifts some people get over others. But I don't know, because there was one account that has a very small following compared to some that was neck and neck with number one with the gifts. And I don't like it. That is amazing how, how much of a force he has with his audience but and i think that that was that was true because he seems like a really good guy um but the i was talking crap about the one that won because i just kind of found her to be a little bit rude during the host off like just with her remarks and like right i remember now i don't know but i got on and i ranted to cosmos deep my agency reached out to me and they were like TikTok has noticed that you were talking badly about some creators and that you um, are being a bit toxic. And I was like, oh, God. I was like, I was just telling the truth about how I truly feel. I was being super transparent about the, like, money I made, which can be tacky to some people, but it's like, oh, my God, can you believe I made this much money? I'm not, I'm trying to bring awareness to, like, the crazy yeah. Cuts they take out of your money when you get gifts because TikTok keeps sixty percent. I only get forty. And I made a shit ton of money that night. And I can't even imagine what the top one and top two made because I think I had three hundred thousand something points and they were like one point five million points. Um I was third place. Um and probably, I was happy with my performance. It probably made four or five times what the you made. The woman that won, there was no really it wasn't a performance. It was like it was just it just Her. comes it just comes down to nobody likes a popularity contest. 
Make no. it a competition. Make it skill based to some extent. Yeah, that's what I thought it would be when I started to participate. But that's kind of why I'm not sure I'm ever going to do Live Fest again because I feel like it is a it's a popularity contest, and I don't I have never liked popularity contests. I do not think they have merit. I think it's who you know, and if you're in the big agency because the big agency is going to invest in you. My agency invested in me what they could. But, like, if you're in a, like, very, very popular agency that's been around for a long time, they're going to give you lots and lots of gifts, and they're going to help you win. And I just don't like it being based on gifts. I think that there's more to it than money. But at the same time, TikTok wants to make money. And they're a business, so I get it. But they're like, you can't talk bad about TikTok. It's like someone coming into your house and talking bad about you. And, like, people come into my house on my channel and talk bad about me every day, but TikTok does nothing about it. They do not care. And that makes me so mad. But whatever. I'm still very grateful for what TikTok has done for me. I wouldn't be here without it. So or like I would not be in this position without it. I would still be living and doing whatever. But I wouldn't be doing my social media to the extent that I do. So I am grateful for it. And I should be more positive on their app if I want to have success. So needless to say, this part of the podcast will probably not be made into any TikToks. No, it won't. Highly unlikely. Definitely will not. Um Everybody. So let's open. Let, you know, let's do the let's do the stupid fights. So okay. we we do a little segment on here called stupid fights every now and then. Stupid fights. Last time we did it, I don't think it was like super serious, but this time it was a little more serious because we were actually mad. It was. It it got a little heated, a little testy. Yeah, we almost stopped doing the podcast for good. Yep. And I've been extremely irritable. With Taylor lately, I think every couple probably goes through phases of like being nice and being mean. And I just can be mean lately. And I think it's stress, but it's still not okay. But the first step is recognizing it right. But we, we've we been doing this podcast only if you, like, I think we're on our like eighth episode now. Woohoo! Yeah. I um, think it is number eight. But it's pretty new. The social media stuff for me isn't new. I know how to edit videos and stuff. But the problem was, like, we weren't showing up prepared or, like, it was all on me to set up, I felt like. or But I wasn't communicating well. I wasn't like, hey, can you do this? It was, and it was also stress because I'm like, I don't have time to sit here and tell you how to do everything when I'm like, I've got 10,000 things on my mind. And I don't even think I can articulate what I need done. But that's my own problem. But boys are fighting what do you have to say um yeah i just don't know as much about the social media things or the editing things or and the that's not really thing. what i was getting mad about um, and that wasn't so much what you're getting mad about it was more about like me not showing up prepared and um, i was having trouble editing the things and that was making you mad but um, there were parts of the fight that i thought were fair and there were parts of it that i thought weren't as fair but us getting angry at each other was just not a constructive way to go about no, resolving the issue. I hate it. I hate that we got into a fight like that. I, um, I'm an asshole. Like, I just am. I don't think you're an asshole. I can be. Sarah cleared out my whole side of the podcast with all of my things back here, put them in a box. And then later that night when we made up, she was like, okay, can I just get you to put those back? I, I did like, not say that. No. I'm I said I will put you it say? up because yeah, that are. is not fair of you to have to do anything. And honestly, <laughs> you put them back up I think better than I had them before. So thanks. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. I like the flow of it now. Thank you. But I'm sorry. But it's all over now. It was just another stupid fight because they're all pretty stupid. It was stupid to get that mad over something. I think it also has to do with other things like compounding on top of one, like just the stress of life. Yeah. And then you're, it's like the last straw. And I'm comfortable with you. And I know that you're not going to leave me, so I can be mean right. to you. But I can't be mean to other people out in public that I don't know that well. Right, who really piss you off. Yeah, which isn't fair to you. You won't even honk the horn. I honk the horn. You're not. You I don't flip honk people like off. Me. I yell at them. Not like me. I don't know. Let's open this package. But we're not going to cancel the podcast. We're back, and we have new plans. And I think that it's really helped us grow in our relationship because yeah. we're like, it doesn't have to be the way we were doing it. Like... 
we can use your strengths and my strengths and we can both meet in the middle. We also, what we can do. We also had it set up, in my opinion, kind of stupid because we had this idea of like, hey, I'll edit the podcast one week. You edit it the next week. Well, I wound up editing it like two weeks in a row. I did that as well. And I also had to busy. help you so much with the editing. So I don't really think and that that's fair to say that you were editing more. No, I, I would like I was about to say. I wound up editing it like two weeks in a row and you had to help me both times. And I was like, I just don't get this editing. I'm not good at this. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we came to the conclusion, Sarah does and the editing, Taylor does the posting. Cause I can and do we that. like, you just didn't understand the importance of posting it at the same time. And like, yeah, consistency. Yeah, whatever. But it's over now. It's over. We're, we have a new plan and we are not canceling the podcast. Don't believe the rumors. No. And it's okay to fight. Like, I'm glad that we can fight because if you don't fight, then you're not really like sharing your true feelings, but it can be done in a healthy way as well. And I think we're learning how to do that. That was like the first huge fight we've ever. I don't know about that. It was like the worst fight we've ever had. Don't you think? It was, it was up there. We don't really have a lot of. I don't even Fights know like what that. we fought, fought about in the past. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I think that was like one of the worst. Okay, this is a package from Tammy Warwick. It's huge. Tammy's a huge friend of the TikTok, huge fan of the show. So, shout out Tammy Sura. Warwick. Appreciate you. We do love Tammy. Oh, It's a doxy card. Wiener dog. Oh, stickers. Sticker. It's the most wienerful time of the year. Does it say wienerful or did yes. you just make that up? It does. Oh, nice. Merry Christmas. Love your BF, Tammy. Oh, best friend, Tammy. Thank you. My actual, like, true friend, like, my best friend in, in life was like, who is Tammy saying BFF on all of your videos? Oh, <laughs> no. And I was like, she's a fan. She it was, was so funny. Jealous. But I do love Tammy. She's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Ooh, a blanket. It's a SpongeBob blanket. I love it, Tammy. Thank you so much. I love it, love it, love it. I don't like it. I love it, love it, love it. That's very nice. My grandma used to make those blankets where it's two blankets tied together. <sighs> this is controversial. No, don't do that. We're not going to open it, but... We were given mail for the wrong person. Yeah, it's to our address, but it's for somebody else. I guess we just stick it back in the box and put return to sender. Yeah, because it's not us. Yeah, and we don't know, have a clue who it is, but it's our exact address. Our exact address, and I don't think that there's a, in the unit next to us, it is not no, this God, name. Because no. we, we live on a property, we shouldn't really talk about this, should we? No, well, it's just not. Anyway, it could be, it's just, it's just complicated, but... Anyway, thank you for oh god. Is that all the topics? The the freaking boongs they make they Holy just Frank. they jump they jump. Um, Frankie's been in and out of my lap the whole time, and he's so little and soft. Yep, that is all we've got. And thank you so much for coming to our Sue and Spanky podcast. We always love seeing you guys. And to that I say, have a blessed day, honey. Bye, y'all. Have a blessed day.